Hi, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can add extra components to our VR world. A really cool aspect of A-Frame is that it's open source. This means that anybody can view the code that makes up the A-Frame library, and anyone can make their own modifications and suggest that their modifications be added to the official library. Since A-Frame is open source, there's a large community of software developers that are adding new components to the standard A-Frame library. But where do we find these? Introducing the A-Frame Registry. The A-Frame Registry is a curated collection of additional components available in A-Frame. In other words, the registry contains components that have been reviewed to meet a specific standard. In the A-Frame Registry, we can find works from other developers that we can then take into our code to use. Let's explore one of these in a little bit more detail. In this lesson, we're going to look at adding physics to our world. Physics allows us to add things like gravity and collisions between objects. Let's look at the steps needed to add this into an example. Okay, so we're going to come over to the A-Frame Registry and we're going to search for physics. And we'll notice as we search that we see this one here. Now we could see the code by coming over here, but what we want to do is understand how to use it. So we're going to click over to the on GitHub and we're going to look at there. When we come over to GitHub, we'll see a bunch of things. We'll see some examples, um, but what we really want is this README at the start of GitHub. And it gives us some basics on how to install it. We're going to actually use this here, and we'll come back to that in a second. Um, but we can kind of scroll through and see some basics on what we want to do. Um, it talks about these components, a dynamic body and a static body, and I'll kind of explain these as we use them. Um, but we can get a lot of information right here from the GitHub README. But what we want to do is we want to use this. And so to use it, we need to take this script, and we need to essentially put this script line into our code. Okay, and so this has an opening and a closing tag. So we're going to copy that whole thing over, and we're going to come over to our code, and we're going to able to copy and paste that right in here. And I already have it pasted in. Okay, so now if we run our code now, we've put that script tag in there, but we haven't done anything with our with our bodies. So right now we have a sphere, we have a plane, and we have a box. We want to make these dynamic so that they're affected by physics. And so physics would say, okay, the ball should fall because it's hanging up there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our plane. Our plane, we don't want it to fall. We want it to be a static body. So what we do is we say static body. And that makes the plane basically a rigid field. Same thing with this box. We're going to make the box a static body. And now we want our ball to be dynamic. We want it to be affected by gravity, and we want it to bounce off of our static bodies. And so our sphere becomes a dynamic body. When we make these changes and run our code, we'll see that now, with that physics script in there, we have a dynamic body. Our ball falls. These are static bodies, so they don't fall. If I were to change the box, for example, to a dynamic body, you'll see that the, ball is gonna, the box is also going to fall, and it's going to fall against the, the bottom. And these two objects will actually interact with each other when they fall. Let's go back and make this a static body. Okay. We can go back and look at more settings, but one other setting I did want to point out. In our scene here, we could actually change our gravity. So we can say physics equals, and we'll change our gravity to the gravity on the moon. So that is one point. Six, negative 1.62. Okay, and now when we run this, we see our gravity is altered to that that we would see on the moon. Okay, so that's how we use the physics. And again, there's lots of other components, but for this lesson, you're going to play around with the physics. Let's go back and look at the steps just to refresh our memory here. So as we saw in the browser, to add a component in our code, we first need to find that component in the A-Frame registry. Once we found it, we followed the link to GitHub. GitHub is basically a place where programmers can store code and create comments. On GitHub, we can learn more about how to use the component as well as how to install it. One thing to note, not all components are documented the same. Some have better explanations and clearer installation instructions. The physics component that we use is very well documented, but you'll run across components that are not as clear, and sometimes you may need to just skip those. In this lesson, we're going to specifically explore the physics component. So let's take a little time to recap that. To add the physics, we needed to add the script that we found on GitHub. 
In this lesson, we take care of that step for you, but for other projects, you'll need to add that script. Next, any object that we want to be fixed in space, we add the static body attribute inside the opening tag for the object. Likewise, we add the dynamic body attribute for objects that we want to be free moving in space. Optionally, we can also alter gravity by adding a physics attribute to the opening tag of our scene. So now that you've seen the physics in action, it's your turn to play around in the editor.